What is artificial intelligence? Hey there, welcome to my channel. In this video, I will be providing you with a brief history of artificial intelligence. The term artificial intelligence AI, refers to the capacity of a computer or computer-controlled robot to perform tasks typically performed by humans, which require human intelligence and discernment. While no AI currently exists that can perform the full range of tasks that a human can, some AIs can match humans in specific tasks. AI is commonly used to refer to the endeavor of creating systems endowed with the cognitive abilities typically associated with humans, such as the capacity to reason, discover meaning, generalize, and learn from experience. Computers and computer-controlled robots have demonstrated this capability since their inception in the middle of the 20th century. British logician and computer pioneer Alan Matheson Turing did the earliest significant work in the field of artificial intelligence. In 1935, Turing described an abstract computing machine that consisted of an infinite memory and a scanner that iterated symbol by symbol through the memory, reading what it found and adding more symbols. A set of instructions, represented as symbols in memory, controls the scanner's operations. The idea of a computer functioning on, and hence updating or improving, its own programs is inherent in Turing's stored program concept. The concept first proposed by Turing is now generally referred to as a Turing machine. Basically, any modern computer is a universal Turing machine. In addition, the Turing test is another form of early artificial intelligence. Think of it as a game in which a human interrogator must decipher whether it is communicating with another human or robot. All three participants are placed in separate rooms while the interrogator asks both of them questions. The AI aspect comes into play when the computer has to answer questions posing as a human. There are conflicting reports as to whether a computer has ever beaten the test. Some say no AI has ever won. However, in June 2014 at the University of Reading, a computer program, Eugene Gutzman, reportedly convinced a human that it is one of us. To better understand this concept, think of a CAPTCHA test in which a computer attempts to decipher if it is communicating with another CPU or human. Technically, it is a reverse Turing test, but the concept is the same. If you have been active on the Internet the past couple of years, you most likely have had to click on the squares containing a crosswalk or traffic light. Next, we look at the types of AI. Reactive AI. Reactive AI aims to maximize results from a given set of inputs. Artificial intelligence AIs that play chess, for instance, are reactive systems that optimize the optimal approach to win. In contrast to proactive AI, which can learn and adapt to new circumstances, reactive AI is typically somewhat static. Hence, it will always give the same result when fed the same data. Limited Memory AI Artificial intelligence AI has the ability to learn from its past mistakes and improve with experience. The memory is typically not very long, and the quantity of updating is usually restricted, hence the name. For instance, autonomous vehicles can read the road adjust to new circumstances, and learn from previous encounters. Theory of Mind AI Understanding that other living beings have thoughts and feelings that affect one's own conduct is the psychological basis for the idea. This would suggest that AI robots are capable of understanding human, animal, and machine emotions and decision-making processes through introspection and willpower and using this knowledge to guide their own actions. In order for AI and humans to have a mutually beneficial relationship, robots will need to understand abstract mental notions such as mind, emotional decision-making oscillations, and a host of other psychological ideas in real time. They are capable of substantial learning and memory retention. Such artificial intelligence, AI, includes sophisticated chatbots that can pass the Turing test and convince a human observer that the AI is human-like. While highly sophisticated and amazing, these AI do not have any sense of self. Self-aware AI. As the name implies, self-aware AI develops consciousness and an awareness of its own existence. Several scientists and scholars maintain that conscious or living artificial intelligence will always remain a science fiction fantasy. Eventually, in the distant future of AI, when theory of mind can be created, AI will be able to take the final step and become self-aware.
This form of artificial intelligence is capable of reasoning, feeling, and perceiving emotions much like a person. It might learn from the tone and content of conversations to anticipate the needs of those around it. Artificial Narrow Intelligence ANI. All the AIs that have ever been generated, from the simplest to the most complex and powerful, are represented by this type of AI. The term narrow artificial intelligence is used to describe AI systems that are limited to one particular task and cannot do it autonomously, utilizing human-like abilities. These robots are constrained to their predetermined capabilities and can only carry out specific tasks. These systems map to the categories of reactive and limited memory AI as described above. All forms of artificial intelligence, including those that employ machine learning and deep learning to train themselves, are included in ANI. Think about automatic vacuums. Artificial General Intelligence AGI. To learn, see, understand, and do all human cognitive and motor tasks is the foundation of what we call Artificial General Intelligence AGI, in an AI agent. These systems can learn new skills without human intervention, and they can generalize and make connections across different areas of expertise on their own. This will make AI systems as capable as humans by giving them versatility. Artificial Superintelligence ASI. Since AGI will eventually become the most powerful type of intelligence on Earth, its creation will likely be the zenith of AI study. In addition to mimicking human intelligence in all areas, ASI will be far superior in every way. This is because they will have vastly superior memory, data processing and analysis capabilities, and decision-making abilities. When AGI and ASI are fully developed, they will cause a scenario commonly known as singularity. Having such potentially useful technology at our disposal is enticing, but it also poses a risk to our very survival, or at the very least, to our way of life. With the enormous technological advances being made in artificial intelligence, we may be closer to the plot of Westworld or the Terminator than we think. As a society, I believe it's fair to say we've grown fond of AI programs such as Siri, Alexa, and Cortana, as they can make life much easier. Smart cars and smart homes have been on the rise as well. In contrast, it is with the creation of robot soldiers and robot police dogs are where we begin to straddle the lines of artificial world domination. Claims of Google's latest AI program, Lambda, becoming sentient were quickly shut down by the company. However, it does pose the question, are these machines capable of taking that next step to attaining consciousness like Sonny from iRobot? For now, we can enjoy the AI art and smart tools like ChatGPT and Quillbot as AI is becoming more and more a part of business and content creation. Thank you all for joining me as we are at the end of the video. Make sure to give this video a like and subscribe to this channel.